Peace, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're new to the crew, subscribe, get notified for more videos, but if you're already part of the crew, salute. So, one of the things I wanna talk about is this um, LG Stylo 5 and the LG Stylo 6. And a lot of people have been asking me, how do I get my messages from the LG Stylo 5 to the LG Stylo 6? Well, let's talk about it in this video. Guys, so the first thing you wanna do when you are setting up your new device from, um, wait, why can't I get the fingerprint sensor? Hold on. So the first thing you want to do when you're when you're setting up your messages in your new phone, you want to go into uh, your options here for settings. So we're gonna find the settings menu on on our, on both of these devices right at the same time. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into an option right here, which is called LG and backup. So. Um, let me find it because I haven't went here in a while, but it's gonna be in system. So you're gonna click uh, system Okay, and then you're gonna go into the backup option right here on both devices. Just click that. Okay, cool Okay, cool. So it says right here that you can back up and restore your devices data or go into the LG switch We're gonna need to use the LG switch application on both devices so make sure that you open it up on both devices and you're gonna see right here that it says that LG mobile switch, select the method for transferring your, um, you can transfer your data such as messages, images, and home screens from an old device to a new device. So we're gonna do it wirelessly. So let's go ahead and click this option. So it says right here, select whether this phone will receive the data or um, send it. So this is the LG Stylo 5. We're gonna send this data to the LG Stylo 6. So it's gonna receive it and then we're gonna hit start. Um, so as you can see right here, um, it's actually you know searching for different devices and things of that nature. Um, now you will be you will be needing to connect to the Wi-Fi on both devices. I'm actually um, it says that I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi right now. What the hell? Okay, so I have really poor um, signal. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna. I just connected. Both devices are now set up for Wi-Fi. So it says, um, "Cannot connect." Download Mobile Switch from the the Google Play Store. So we're gonna search again, and it says right here, LG Stylo Six. So once you see the LG Stylo Six show up on this device, you're gonna um, pair the, the LG Stylo Six to it, and um, it says. Right here to be connected tap start so we have to read we have to do it all over because I wasn't connected to the Wi-Fi Let me just see if I could hit start here and if it could just pick up right where I left off So we don't have to start from the beginning, but um, you can see right here it says to be connected hit start Oh, I, I disconnected from the Wi-Fi again. I'll be right back Okay, look guys, let's try that again. So let's go ahead first. I'm now in a different room with stronger Wi-Fi connection so what you want to do is enable that on both devices. That's the first thing. And then after you've enabled that, you can go back and um, cancel. So then you want to hit start on here and then look for the LG Stylo 6 one more time. So let me just wait for the LG Stylo 6 to come up. Then you're going to go back on this device and hit start as well. So there it is, the LG Stylo 6. Now go ahead, connect to it. And what you're gonna see is that the phones are gonna be connecting to each other. Now, I keep losing um, Wi-Fi on here. I'm not sure what's going on. But anyway, it does say uh, receive data right here. So you could go ahead and receive that. Okay, so now this is the, the screen you wanna see, guys. So. Right here it says, connected to the LG Stylo 5 on old device, select the items that you wanna transfer and then tap next. So you could you could transfer your lock screen, your personal data, your internal data, your LG app data, uh, downloads and more. But if you wanna see what that all entails, just hit the drop down. And your, your personal data is gonna include call logs, contacts, messages, quick memo, and um, your home screen data is empty. Well, mine is. And then the uh, let me show you what the um, data for music you could you could do music um, I'm sorry audio images video documents um, you can't do apps which kind of sucks but um, let me just go open this up 
and click this option because you could do weather keyboards you could do downloaded apps wait hold on i i capped okay so it does let you transfer downloaded apps over to another device so you can see you could do the apps all of those apps is cra that's crazy and then um let's check that one and then whatever else you want to transfer guys so let me put this tab back up then you got your media storage Oh, I did that already. LG apps and settings, downloaded apps. So you got your Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth settings, call settings, notification panel, things of that nature. Let me just hit cancel. So if I was to go ahead and hit next, I think what I'm just gonna do is transfer something like really small, like Wi-Fi settings or something. <clears throat> Actually, I'm not even gonna transfer nothing, but this is how you would do it. You would select those ones and then we just hit next so you can see that and then look it's, it's zipping on the files over to the other device it's right now saying that it's at 22 percent so i got the lg stylo 6 on the right and you could see that that was you know it's going to be pretty quick relatively quick based on what you're sending then you can see this one starting to receive the information um currently and i i'm actually disconnected from wi-fi as we speak i'm not sure why but i guess this doesn't work um this 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 looks like it's not your wi-fi will drop well this one's connected let me see because i see the wi-fi symbol this is really weird oh i'm getting this link at the top which is using my wi-fi as a file sharing from the Wi-Fi technology. So yeah, that's definitely Wi-Fi technology that it's using. Um, but you can see it's relatively slow when it comes to transferring the files. But I just wanted to make this quick video so you guys can have your messages on your new phone instead of your old one. You wanna get those messages over there as soon as possible. This is the fastest way to do so. I forgot to show you what it looks like when it's done. It says complete 89 megabytes. And then you can just hit done on this device and it brings you back to your home screen. And then this device is just loading the data and it's saving it from the LG Stylo 5. One more step, it's gonna ask you to restart the LG Stylo 6 so that it can have that information updated and then all that information will be available. So hopefully this was informative, useful, or helpful in the least bit possible. And I'll, I'll check you guys on the next video. I'll get right back with you later, groupies.